Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Postman tutorial, we are going to cover how you are going to execute or do data driven testing through CSV file when your data is in the CSV file or JSON file, but then how you are going to execute it through Newman or Postman CLI, right? Now, till now we have been doing the collection runner. Okay. Now, say for example, we have to refer to the data file through Newman. Okay. Through command line or Postman CLI. Okay then what we are going to do in order to refer to that particular file. So first thing is let's quickly export this particular collection. Now we have already understood there are many ways you can run the collection. You can use the Postman APIs to run the collection or you can export the collection as a JSON file on your local machine and run the collection standalone on your machine. Okay. So basically what I'll do is I'll export the collection because I do not want to consume, you know, a lot of Postman API usage. It's still there. A lot of APIs are API usage is available, but let's export it, right? So for example, I will go ahead and simply go to the collection and then we'll export the collection, the latest one. And it's already selected for us. I'll click on export and then we'll simply say, okay, I'll replace the existing one. Okay. So this was the old one. So I'll just replace because I have updated few things there. I'll replace the existing one. Uh, the collection has been exported. Now we also need to select the environment on which Jira environment that we want to run this particular collection because this is a Jira API. So we'll go to the environments and I'll export the environment file as well. And I'll use this environment one dot Okay, so just replace the existing one. So I'll save it and replace the existing. So we have the JSON export for the collection that we want to run as well as the environment JSON that we have exported from post. Okay, now in order to run it from Newman, okay, or Postman CL. So let's understand from the Newman. So we know that in order to run a collection from Newman, the command is Newman. Okay, Newman run. Okay, and then let's see what help is available. So I'll say hyphen H and then it will give me what all options are available in order to run a collection. What what all help is available in Newman. Okay, so you'll see the help that is available. So we have the option to basically provide the environment and provide the collection. Okay, so we have hyphen E for the environment. Okay, and then we also have the option to provide the file. Okay, so let's see if we have the direct we see somewhere. Yeah, so you see that we have hyphen D to provide the iteration data file, right? So you specify the data file for uh, to use for iterations either JSON or CSV. Okay, so you can we can simply just refer to the data file and the iterations will be automatically done in that particular case. Okay, so simply provide the environment hyphen E and hyphen D or double hyphen iteration hyphen data and specify the location of the json or csv okay so let's quickly try that so we'll simply say okay newman run okay and where is our collection so we our collection is in this postman collection okay so we'll simply the double quotes postman collection okay and then hyphen environment and that is there within the c users postman collections and the environment right so simply choose the environment file so this is the data and the environment so environment one okay now in order to refer to the data file we know that there is a help option or, or or the option that is hyphen d which is which we can use to specify json or csv okay so we'll simply say okay hyphen d which is for the data or iteration data right and the iteration data is also in the c users because that's where we have saved our data files right Okay, so there is a data dot JSON. So let's run from JSON first. Okay, and at this time, let me quickly update few things there. Okay, so I'll just put one in this case. Okay, so we know that this is basically, you know, running from Newman. Okay, so I have updated this JSON data dot JSON and saved it. So now the value or the story title will be JSON one. Okay, so if I run this, okay, so let me run this collection. So now this time it should actually automatically you'll see it has it is doing the iterations right so iteration one of two one of three two of three and then three of and automatically you'll see through newman it has executed right three times three iterations whatever request the test script everything automatically has been identified because we just specified where our test data file is right so similarly if you have to refer to the csv file the only thing you have to change here is instead of the json file you just change it to dot csv or whatever csv file you have in this particular location right 
this one and it will start referring to the csv file okay so this is this is pretty this is as simple as just going through the command line and figuring out okay yes we do have a iteration data option and then we can simply go ahead and specify that in the newman okay so now if we go to jira you'll see that new issues would have been created with data driven testing um data driven task or you know like all all of these three json one ending with json one three of them got created okay so this is one thing now say for example how you are going to execute it through the postman cli okay now we have also installed or learned about postman cli previously so we we know that in order to execute a collection through postman cli we have the option so we have this postman okay and if you just say postman hyphen h okay and then enter it will give you all the options that are supported with this particular command right so postman will have the command collection okay so like newman has the option or newman command to run the collection is newman run okay so postman to run the collection from the postman is postman collection run okay so if we say postman collection okay and then say run and then put help okay hyphen h it will give me all the help option or all the options that are supported to run the collection right so postman collection run and this is postman cli command right so postman cli we have already understood or installed right so that is why i'm getting both newman and postman cli options in my command prompt because i have installed that package using node package manager in previous videos if you haven't watched those go ahead and watch them okay so now in order to refer to the json or the csv file in the postman cli you will see that similar sort of options are available hyphen d or hyphen double hyphen iteration data so postman cli and newman you will find a lot of similarities right so not much difference the only difference is basically how you are going to run in postman cli is postman collection run and then everything else will be almost similar the even the iteration data option is also same it is hyphen d the, to specify the data file so this time we'll specify what we'll specify the csv file okay with the postman cli so postman collection run we have to provide the collection the environment and the data file okay so let me quickly open the data file here and we will simply say this is a cli okay because we are using postman cli to run this set so i'll just rename it to postman cli save it now test data.csv will have the updated issue titles for each of these issues let me minimize it and now we have to run it right so now run the collection so collection is in this particular folder okay so i'll simply copy it and this is the collection right we want to run it on the environment which is sorry hyphen e for the environment to choose the environment file and environment file is this one okay and then the iteration data file with hyphen d okay or double hyphen iteration hyphen data right so everything is available in the help so you don't need to worry about you just need to know how to get the help for any specific command and then we choose the data file so the data file this time we are referring to the csv file okay if you are referring to the json you simply choose the json file, okay and now if i go ahead and run and run this and this is the postman cli execution this is not newman because we have choose the command postman collection run which is the postman cli option you will see almost similar test execution as we had seen in the newman because postman cli is very close to what newman used to provide okay so this has executed and then you will see all the details of the execution using the postman cli you will see that data driven cli the 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 iterations basically three of three two of three and one of three okay so this time we go here in jira you will see the new issues got created which have this cl okay story bug and task so this is briefly how you are going to refer to a test data file within postman if you are running your tests through newman or postman cli because these commands you can use in the ci server for example jenkins or bamboo okay and then set up these jobs and refer to those data files if you have any data driven testing required within your project okay so just thought i'll cover this part as well so you know that from the command line as well you can refer to the data file and execute and not only from the postman app okay and because i have ran this offline these collection runs you'll see that i still have these credits available so if you are running the collection without uh, postman apis okay or through the app you will still have those credits because i have exported those collections okay as the json files 
and then executing on my machine okay look so that's all about uh, this particular tutorial i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching